Yeah. On that of Inferno, it worked once. Can it work again? And can that confidence be there to make those same decisions? Route the gate into the pistol round. Yeah, you want to talk confidence. I think just the whole squad believing in Carrigan's calls on this T side has worked wonders for them. That confidence only grows as more and more Ws are farmed on up. Art has full banana control. Smoke deployed to corral them towards middle. Yeah, one expert odds there, favoring phase in this one. Makes sense. Hot to trot beating the world number one yesterday and starting to crawl up mid. Ah, phase. Three out apartments here. Have to deal with Drop and Yuri. K Serato in graveyard yeah, as well. This is a nice setup for this. Yuri's anti, safe to track, missing his shots and does put Rops down. Two on Yuri's USP. K Serato graveyard, a problem for Rain. And Yuri should have that beret. It just about falls off and it's all Yuri. Four kills from him. Shut down. Oh, Yuri picking up where he left off yesterday. A massive performance on Nuke against Astralis to get them to this point. He went ab twist, cops a bullet to the face as well. Now, we just had the desk highlight the, what was it, roughly 95% second round conversions for Fury here. Yanko said they would be tested by FaZe, and understandably so, the Deagles come out. And these are the type of rounds where Carrigan doesn't need to call a whole lot. He just allows these aimers to go out and do what they do best. You know, you can see if Fury's intent is to bring the fight to them or simply just sit back, relax, and let it come to them. At the moment, three deployed towards B, and it looks like Hart is just going to leave some extra utility as he rotates back. A yeah, big smoke to donate there. That's the only smoke on the B side. The drop's just been able to get into his hands, has that with the incendiary, and he's actually going to throw it over towards K Serato. So a lot of map control here, but if you just wait this out as phase, you can wait out this first 55 seconds, get to that minute mark, and then start your crawl with the Deagles. With the utility no longer in play, it becomes more of a fair fight. They've all gone for head armor other than Carrigan. You've got Kevlar with a HE, which has just been deployed. A bit yeah. of damage towards top banana, at least heard. And we know Art likes to go USP on a successful pistol in order to guarantee the AWP. Yeah, this is going to be a bit harder for him right against the Deagles here. And he's actually rotated over towards the B-bomb site off the back of that little bit of a banana presence. It's A for the Affection's life a phase. Safe, close porch, Yuri towards pit. A lot of you took it to rain in from appropriately, the Norwegian. And there it goes, shut down, a quick response. Down goes one rifle. And keeping it level, FaZe are going to commit. Art won't have much to contribute, so it really does come down to this Yuri M4. 25 seconds, Chad. they got to go. And here comes the commit. Up short, Art dead. And just around the smoke, hoping to punish, does manage to pluck one from the pack. Maneuvering, living, and fragging. No bomb plant. Only Brokey and unable to find and connect the dots. It will be a successful conversion. Big push from Drop there. He comes through the smoke over towards Moto while they're dealing with Yuri's position and actually kills Carrigan. Carrigan went the long way around to the side. He couldn't get any cover because their attention was drawn to Yuri's position and the bomb doesn't get planted. Good trade on top mid. They had the uh, dugs where they wanted them. The fake out from FaZe was nice early, but Yuri, the pillar of defense over towards A, makes this one an absolute shutdown. No plant and well phase, they go lacking that 95% conversion of Fury on the second round stands true. And there's the fan cams. If you want to join ESL.gg slash fan cam to join the fun, lots of Brazilians in the cam right there supporting their countrymen. And now you just kind of get the same round, but lighter. Yeah, no, not as much utility. Uh, definitely not as much armor. They've been investments of Kevlar for Brokey and Rops here. So still something to sniff at if you are the FaZe Clan boys. Yeah, well, Brokey or Rops with a quick deagle pick and a rifle pickup, suddenly it gets very hectic. Caserato could be on a late, or a quick flank, mind you, uh, from Banana. He's pushed on down. And, well, that's the first there Tech Nine. Go. Big opener. Yuri's gone. Yeah, uh, Yuri unable to contribute and three frags in the same amount of seconds. It's just like that. The A side's open. And, well, second round converted, sure, but the easier of the pair and it's fallen flat. Yeah, this might just be dropping Caserato holding onto their goodies right here. Uh, uh, Rob's just coming out of their apps position and getting the opener with the Tech 9. We're going to catch this one here and yeah, on a timing. Uh, that's massive play because the pressure was coming through middle. It was a bit more of a mid-centric defense and then you see the next two from the FaZe Clan boys and they're going to pick up the third round of play here. A beautiful one to win and as you mentioned with lesser of an investment. So great round. Great yeah. round. I mean, we talked about the idea of forced errors and unforced errors. 
And at this stage of the game, and with the players in the game like this, you really cannot expect too many unforced errors to go down. Okay, this is good for Kaysarado. He might even get this M4 picked up. Yeah, Will Ooh. and the final kill of the round. So sure, they deny everything for FaZe going forward. But I think the key there is the amount of kills he got with the MP9 and the M4 pickup. It, it means that Fury are still going to have a buy here, right? So that's actually a great round from Kaysarado, all things considered. We know that FaZe are going to bring out their AKs. That's not the question, but it's how good Fury as buy can be. And it's looking tidy. Yeah, really nice. It's not really going to cost them too much if they can just quickly get back on the saddle now. Easier said than done, though. Well, they do have this safe AWP in play here, right? So, so if he can find a pick against just the rifles of FaZe, good way to open up the account. Three towards top B, safe, leering down mid from this short side. I don't think any of FaZe have taken a lick of damage in this fight for early banana control. They're very happy to give it up early, let you dump all your nades. And the only counterplay to that is making sure you're ready for Art. He has burrowed deep into Banana. Couple of flashes close and the protocols from FaZe should be there. Now the smoke dropped deep here. They're likely to wait this out. No point running through the gray screen. You don't know exactly what lies on the other side. Time still a minute 10 on the clock here. So plenty to operate with is Long Smoke dropped on out there. They can start working on this mid control. Kesarado is not going to see a whole lot. They dropped their own smoke towards Boiler. So this means that Safe just has one angle to focus on. So this is looking good right now for Furia. And Molly will force Art out. They flashed off. This is good pressure now from FaZe. They have brackets and twists. Has Art nicely flushed out. Caserato not going to be checked and should be traded. Rain has long. There's contact all over the shop. You're not going to rotate. It's just drop. And he stands well. Strong. Safe catches Rain as well. Quick turnaround from Furia. Things were starting to spiral. Now Drop has got the commitment coming his way. Save fast on the flank and Drop, do you really need to commit? Let the bomb go down, play for that retake. Rops was well positioned for that. It's Brokey and Rops. Tagged a little, 2v3. Step it away out here. There's two flashes. Drop and Safe can flash to go. Picked up the AK for this retake, has Safe. Makes sense, but into the AWP. these are the phase aimers. You really have to give them the respect and push as a unit. Overwhelm them, no trade. Rops makes it even. Not for a moment's longer, though. Brokey alone in the 1v2. Half gone, safe down, and now a problem. Yuri has the kit. Can he get the frag? The answer, a resounding yes, just through the corner of that board. It will be a third for Furia. Uh, impact for Yuri. He's had impact on the pistol, impact on the second round of play, and now the third that Furia have posted. He's had a double with the defuse in a clutch situation. So Yuri, I already mentioned it, but this is fantastic work from him carrying across from yesterday. He's absolutely feeling himself here. Currently the highest rated member for Furia. Uh, next is Kay Serato, and over there on the other side, it goes Brokey and then Rops. So some big names aligned for that one to close it on out, but great work pulling them apart at the seams there with a couple of picks from Furia. Oh, played that so well. Out peeking the Brokey. And so FaZe then back down to the pistols and a little bit of Kev. Yeah, the, the buy for Fury is weak at this. Whoa, look at this whoa. aggression. Hello. Art's already no knocking looking. on Banana and a very hectic spray. Shouldn't be too many more problems. The USB has wrapped it up. Rain shut down. And now we're just Carrigan and Robs. Separated, segregated, and tucked in tight. Safe hits it. Yeah, that smoke uh, that they used to extinguish there, halfway down Banana, was actually a, a phase smoke. So it works against them. Carrigan's going to get something for his troubles. It just passed the head. will go off. Carrigan goes down. And, well, that was just a light investment again here. But maybe a few of the phase individuals uh, purchasing too much there. Twist only has 3.9 for the buy. means he has to go into a Galil. Rain can get the AK with head armor, but only has a smoke. Brokey gets into the AWP. And one of the keys to getting back that map control when Art was pushed so far down Banana before was utility. So we're going to have to question what FaZe are able to get away with here on a lighter purchase. Yeah, just confirming my suspicions about the not taking any utility damage from FaZe. There is nothing to report from Furia. I mean, a grand total of something like 60, five rounds in. They are just giving them that banana. And I say that, Twist is on his way. An aggressive journey. Let's see what it costs him. Only 70 HP to operate with. And they just tickled him down and a close half all smoke to enable progress. Can't really do anything with this, right? He's actually dropped his own smoke. So this is just all for in the war of attrition of Banana. And it looks like Fury are going to back off. They don't want the half wall flash to pop on over and get caught with their pants down. They'll rather regroup back towards B. And Safe is still posted towards this short side. Straight back over towards A with at least three. You can see on the radar, it's almost a straight line to deal with mid, boiler, and the hall's push. Rops, Rain, and Brokey posted up on that right now. And They've done enough work in Banana, it seems. Carrigan's called all the troops over here to finish towards this A site. Two smokes, two flashes, and a molly to make it work. It's 
Smoke on long side, Brokey. Gonna be at the tail end of this commitment. A T side AWP on Inferno, not always easy to find those openings. These are wrap smokes here, they're hoping to clamp down on A. Yeah, and they are successfully across, no vision for safe. Art looking for answers and finds bloodshed. Carrigan cut off and a lovely re-smoke, no gaps. Art is flirting with aggression. This is a lot. Safe's ready for it. Library clear. And now what do you do? You got 30 seconds. You've got to come out Balk. Art's already spraying you down. That T side orb rattles off a shot from short, but it might, might be just save. be the save. Yeah, back in a way, moonwalking out of the apps. Yeah, this is very flat so far from phase here. They've just been absolutely denied. There was no push, no potency elsewhere. You had two players wrapping around, but it felt like there was no pressure. It was only one individual to deal with, and that was Yuri, because Art was focusing on that long side where the smokes had landed. So a bit flat from phase. Nobody wanting to get stuck into the thicker things there. So it will be the Brokey, Rops, Twist, Trio to hold onto their guns and go again. But this is fantastic from Fury out the gates, and it doesn't even feel like they're having to work too too hard for things. Last two rounds back to back, at, at least four plus players surviving, and that one, all five staying alive. This is a fantastic start. Yeah, I mean, you combine FaZe looking flat initially with Yuri carrying the form of yesterday into this uh, semi final. Certainly, a lot of the stars are correlating for Furia. Well, one more round like that, and there'll be a very tidy bank built for Furia. Right? They'll be able to sink their teeth into the CT half, make, take a couple more risks, not worried about giving away so many rifles. They bought up around these safe guns, and there's more nade damage done. Carrigan chunk to 50. Util goes both ways, and we'll drop the liquor damage, but that's all we have to report right now. More nades, that could kill him. Oh, Carrigan, on your head, son. And Art, no one's surprised to see him holding W through the smoke, jumping through the smoke, no less, and is punished. Twist, a necessary frag posted. He's given them something, but they need to work a lot harder here. Phase is still difficult round. Twist is low, the flash is back, and the peak off the back of this too. Oh, Brokey does hit. Okay, Serato lucky to be alive. No punish from the HE. He backs away, but loses drop, and now alarm bells ring. Okay, Serato just giving up the B site instantaneously. I feel like you'd want to finish B. You've been going towards A. Yuri has been, well, owning them from this position, stalling them out by presence alone here. So if you're phased, the conversation is probably to test the other side of the map, safe with all the mid control he could hope for. Okay, Serato's actually cheated over as well. So they're hoping that it will be another A finish here, but likely at this juncture to be back to the second letter of the alphabet. Twist, Brokey, Romps, all in the base of Banana now and Rain to join them shortly. Well, this is the lottery of that gamble stack. Losing drop on the, uh, well, one and done position. You have to know now, though, with 24 seconds left and the util about to plume, that it is the wrong bomb site. So it, it seems like Fury are just happy to hold on to these guns. And, and that's surprising to see, considering how this round kicked off. So uh, one that they may have slipped through their fingers here. The re-aggressive banana was punished, and, and I know that Brokey was well aware that he tagged Case Rudd or another member towards top banana, so probably edging on in there with the decision-making. This was all twist. I mean, Art's aggression is one thing, but he actually upgrades to the AK that Art dropped and then proceeds to knock Bang. drop. Bang. Round win. Just like that. The rest sit to save. No hunt necessary for phase. They're just happy to be converting the round and hopefully getting everyone out with a rifle. <laughs> That's the... Um long forgotten block burst jump boost. He wanted his AWP back. Yeah. Give me my AWP and give it to me now. I'm not letting you walk away with low HP and lose that. He's going to make sure he retains it. Bogdan's law only works for so long. But when you take a look back at the, the FaZe Clan roster, you know, when they did pick up Brokey and now you look at the aimers he's partnered with, what a beautiful blend of raw fragging potential and veterancy that this FaZe Clan roster has landed with. Brokey, obviously an absolute diamond in the rough that they have continued to polish. Over these, his tenure with the roster, Rain, I'm sure, is just a pillar of consistency with that pop-off game yesterday as well, just reminding everyone of what he does occasionally on Dust2. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a roster that certainly has got the, uh, the capacity to, to, to dominate everyone within the uh, ESL Pro League, but Fury at the moment standing vigilant. Double orbs here, Alex. Yeah, let's see how far that gets them. Serato equipping the secondary, and he's going to be postured a bit more passively this time towards B. Giving them a lot more room here. They're not tussling for this banana control. So it works against them once, and they're happy to forgo a lot of that space here. Just a half wall smoke dropped out from phase to deny the CT's information. It goes both ways. Until back and forth. And again, it feels like phase can just turn their affections as a unit towards one side of the map here. They're not really too worried about any aggression. Safe to be mollied out of position. He can still hold the boiler line from there if he likes. The flashes suppress and 
Uh, they have mid control. They know this is a ruse. They are very well aware because Art still retains top mid control. So dropped a flash, and is he going to go for a reclear? That would be brave, considering the retake util's been thrown. So that's going to... Oh, careful, Art. Caught out or not. Robs pokes his head up out of the underpass and loses it. Taking advantage of this pack roll mentality right now, Art's found the gap and found them a man opening. And here. now look at the minimap. He's already pegging it to be. He just got that kill in middle. Safe to tuck in. He likes this corner. He's going to be cleared, but the flash is good. Does... So come to a team flash, does Carrigan. Caught by the orb, Yuri on his balcony. Can he really do it again? Just under the line of fire and twists another high impact shot. Threatening on that plant, the nade won't finish off rain. And hoping to do some damage, bring the pain. Oof. Hitting the box just there, the lip of this art is low. Two on three retake on the A side with the flash alone. They have kits. It's not gonna be easy. Two from short side, sweeping through middle. Art on his AWP now. Twist is exposed to that on this graveyard clear. Still concerned about the apartments. Rain ready. Twist strikes for the first. Another required. Caserato's dead and Twist again with the highest impact. Looking for four. Steals it away. And a third for FaZe off the back of Twist alone. Two of these three rounds. Can we can credit to the Canadian? Yeah, beautiful stuff there, right? That post-plant position. They have the crossfire in the site. He's able to deal with apartments and short on the push on up and... Art's got another op as well. What? Okay, it's a double op setup here. So this one is going to really ring in the ears of FaZe. Expecting one, sure. Expecting another AWP setup uh, is pretty hard to deal with. You see the Furious Smoke dropped out as they start with four towards A. This is spicy. Art wants to get them a man advantage through the element of surprise. Incendiary fades. And he starts his crawl, his sweep into the bedroom angle, just pre-aiming that strafe. Rain's on his way and jumping into the scope. Art has given them another entry, anticipating for an extinguish. No spread, not required. Every resource valuable in this round. Round nine, an opening kill again secured by Furia. And this is the thing they need to be able to convert at this time round. Safe's AWP is posted over towards B. They've just smoked off top mid and Art can get on out of dodge. They still have to account for K Serato up in the halls with the Mag 7. That's a big problem right now for FaZe. Rops is in. Twist and support. Caserato has given up apps as well with that Mag 7. And Art, woof, just upon the fade, puts Carrigan on his so bottom. Annoying. Must be a very irritating player to play up against. You smoked him off. I'm sure he'll be jogging around the map now. But they've already lost two. They haven't met anyone else. They haven't seen anything else. They will soon. Charging in now. Up short. Twist doesn't clear his corners and Yuri's dig is sharp. Robs another victim for Art, and it's just brokey. Just the two of them there. Art and Yuri defend the A site, and a very higgledy-piggledy buy looks effortless. Yeah, I, I think that's going to throw FaZe into an awkward situation, right? The fact that there was double orbs, how they didn't even get to note that. They only saw Art's orb, as you were pointing on out, and he's such a nuisance because they're just defaulting, going through the motions. The fact that there's an AWP in Boiler Room taking a fight like that, that's risks that only Art will take right there, or JW once upon a time, but this is beautiful stuff coming out of the smoke, finding Rops as well, and it's just Yuri with the Deagle in the site to lock things down. FaZe can buy, it's not the best of a Deagle and a Tech-9 in the hands of Broken Rops respectively, but looking like more pace here, looking to take the fight, they're jogging straight up mid. Yeah, safe, could be caught out here, he was so blind, gets around the corner in time, Yuri is a problem, Rain, a ghost, shut down, 11 frags and counting for Yuri. We got the space, but at what cost, Carrigan 29 points of health, Rain dead again, another opening kill for Furia here, they're coming forward, they're flashed off, safe Ooh, fires. Trying to keep the attention drawn on his side, Sandry out. Flames on the floor. Bomb is still in T-spawn, so I'm not sure if they could have committed behind the pace if it had worked out differently. Yeah, I think they wanted to try and take advantage of this double orb setup, but uh, it's really hurting them here. Drop all the way back over towards the dark corner on the B bomb site, and the one to respond will be K Serato with the secondary AWP from CT. So if they isolate drop here, Alex, there's a real opportunity to get this round for FaZe. Yeah, they've only got one smoke chat. This will be the commit. One more, that is. Smoked off on his way through. Carrigan straight across. Drop unchecked as it stands. Love a flash here, Drop. Serato drawing attention. Carrigan down and out and Drop with two. The multi-kill when required. It will put a rifle into enemy hands. But a two versus four and make it even one before the bomb can go down and Brokey overrun as well. This is ferocious from Furia. Even though it was just Drop, 
Isolated on the site, he still stands to deliver the numbers game. He takes two down for the trouble. Yeah, this is crazy, right? If you go back to that match throughout the group stage, I have the caveat, I have the asterisk there of the fact that Fury had already qualified for the playoffs, but still on Inferno, that's where Fury had won 16 to 6 with an 11 4 CT half. And they're looking to like finish exactly that same fashion here. This is fantastic work. The different looks, how annoying they're being on this CT side. Very dynamic in their approach so far. And for A, surely without the plan, have to be back down to the pistols. A damage to twist. This round not starting as they'd hope for it to go on. Now, they did win a low buy round earlier in the piece, but that was off of A. Rops. Oh. Oh, no, and I don't think Twist is getting an opening of anything. Oh. Drop in case Serato combined for two. And this is just starting to sting now for FaZe. Yeah, I mean, for a team that's T-sides on Inferno was second to almost none, Furyheads do, do seem to have their number. Study the default, find ways to pick it apart. Ambitious plays, safe, forced off the line. Good movement out of the Deegs here, but Art's going to be happy to fill the void. Steps up in library and shuts them on down. So eight already. They're going to win out the CT half at round 11. Yeah, just reflecting on a couple of the stat lines here that's uh, against FaZe. They've only found two opening kills so far within this half, right? Uh, so th that's not going to help them at all. There's no legs up. So if, if they do get opening kills later uh, in the rounds to come, the gun rounds, then they need to be converting off the back of those because they're few and far between. Rain is 0 and 3 in that department. Carrigan is 0 and 2. The only ones to find the opening kills have been Twist and Rops. And Twist was in the banana round against Art's aggression, and Rops was on that live by round we were talking about, whereas Art is currently 4 and 1. You also got uh, the clutch or the one clutch of Yuri going in the favor of Fury here. And, and the multi kills, that's a problem as well for FaZe. Twist is the only one to get uh, uh, more than one multi kill. Roki and Rain on one apiece. So those little stat lines need to change for FaZe if they want to be competitive within this first half. Well, we get to start our journey into pursuing opening kills right here, right now. Round 12, safe taking his AWP into the aggressive app's stance. And needs to be careful because that maneuver has already been done by Art, so you shouldn't be fooling FaZe twice, especially with the same play, and there's only one member to deal with that. It will be Rops. Yeah, and actually going for the boost instead, so he can pop his head up on Art's head if he desires. This is such a... Slow start from FaZe here. They don't want to fall to any of this Fury aggressive nature. What is this for a CT setup, though? Okay, Serato's got his AWP this time. He's been given the green light in exchange for an Art AK. This is uh, why Art can be so threatening, because he gets to do whatever he wants. If he wants a secondary AWP, sure. If he doesn't, he'll give it to somebody else. He gets to go for picks. He's the in-game leader. He decides how they get to approach every round. So putting a lot of stock in his individual ability, but in an aggressive nature as opposed to a closing the round nature. Yeah. There's a reason why they're fast becoming a fan favorite. I've always played fun Counter-Strike and, well, look at Safe, just orping down middle. He might catch Rain here with the bomb. So late, and he'll at least get the information. Rain spots him out as well. 40 seconds here, they can start piecing this together. It's gonna be B, they already have Yuri on the site. Yeah. Art's still in boiler room. They've still got smokes they could drop as well. Not choosing to do so, even as they fall in. Caserato looking to surprise them. The element of surprise is flashed off. Drop close, gonna be cleared. Follies him out, nice work already as FaZe are broken in. The smokes are up, there are bodies to defend. An odd smoke in the pool. Carrigan sweeps through to confirm the site is theirs. Double orb retake, I know they're close, but this is looking very unlikely already. That smoke might have a bit of gap on the right hand side, but regardless, they've done enough. FaZe have been able to get on through and it looked very unlikely. They didn't have the space advantage, they didn't have the territory advantage, all they had was banana and they're able to execute in with ease. No resistance put up from the B-bomb side defense whatsoever. You can see Carrigan on the way in, he's turning away for the flash, just swings on back, drop has to push on out into that. This is Art trying to get away with something risky there and Rops will greet him with a bullet right between the eyes. So a cheeky maneuver attempted there from Art, but it's not gonna pay on off and FaZe will find their fourth. So they've equaled how many T-rounds they got last time. Let's see if they can do any better. Still plenty of cash here for Fury and no worries for them whatsoever. I, I am interested to see if Caserato gives that secondary AWP back over to Art and he goes for some to take this one. Early three-man lean towards Banana probably and does indicate we're gonna get some Art hijinks down. See that barrage of nades in exchange. They're expecting something different with that utility, right? They're expecting a player to push out towards logs. They're expecting someone up close behind the half wall. So yeah, many smoke. smokes. So many smokes. They heard that. Trying to finish the job and do another opening kill goes Fury's way. Twist desperate to find a rebuttal, but nothing available. And oh, the setup, the fruity two man setup in Boiler. Rob's about to get a face full of it. And there you go, two targets. Baffled, I'm sure. 
Caserato aggressively orping on sandbags. Twist jiggles are good, but not ready for that. What a response out of Fury, as simple as that. A smoke to enable an escape and extinguish. Good, and Caserato down. They may not be ready for drop. So close, so aggressive, and dead. Rain just catches them in the side of the head, not prepared and tagged up. Now they know Brokey lingers in the smoke. Sound cues heard. The bomb there too. Yeah, this is going to be a matter of time here. Brokey might get the one, does, but 22 points of health now steps on into wow. Ark. He's got another kill, but Yuri's there for the trade. In case things were getting out of control, Yuri, of course, closes it down. And look, these are odd setups from Furia, right? We talk about them being like meta breakers or, or art specifically, but this entire team with the way that they just approach some of those CT holds, how awkward is this? K Serato sitting here orping the line. All drops doing that is sitting looking at the ground with a smoke in his hands, because if a molly comes, he'll extinguish that. They're probably going to kill K Serato, and then he's able to mop up the mess, which is exactly what he did. The double boiler set up to deal with Rops' position as well. So there's some creative out of the box little setups there from Furia. Get them the ninth. It's so cool. You just don't see this outside of Furia games. Nades, raining terror on Twists and Carrigan, but they are kicking open with a kill. Art got caught. Caserato sprayed. Look at this battle. It's just spraying through smokes. An equivalent exchange, you could say. Rain, however, on 9 HP. And drop still there. Another flash and a... Oh, oh, what? <laughs> he hits him. A slight glimmer between the smokes. All right there, Brokey. Wow. Well, that's the advantage of the numbers they were looking for here. Fury is split. Yuri on B. Safe close middle. And he's actually pushing further forward here. Safe. If he goes to investigate, could find a gap here on a bit of a timing. Rob's close mid. Has rain and Brokey in tow. This is mad. Look at Safe. He's about to try and defend A from Boiler with an AWP. He can't rescope now. Quick switch out. Deagle's good for it and now can reposition. He'll anticipate more. Loud about this. Safe, what are you up to? The back is turned and Robs shut down. Quick, close quarters, orping. Does he play for the rotate? Yuri's miles away. Brokey opts to mount the Vespa, gets to Graveyard, spots him out, but Safe will close. He defends the A site from Boiler. What a huge round. What a huge round that was. Rain's <laughs> coming in his domain first, gets him with the Deagle to the dome, and then the AWP kills. It's like they weren't accounting for him to take that fight again. They're expecting him to skyrocket back through the apartment's position. This is Art giving up an opening death, but it doesn't even matter. These what two shots see? from Brokey. Yeah, must have just caught his head over the cusp of the smoke there. A beautiful one, but... Done up there by safe. Better orping in the round to lock that one out. And 10 now has been signed and delivered here from the Brazilians. I mean, that was a 2v3. He happens to have the Deagle for the low HP range. Still a headshot, so it doesn't matter, but just not ready for that re-aggression from safe. Beautiful. Oh, going exactly like it did last time here on Inferno. Could be 11-4 once more. He's done it. He's caught another opening kill, and FaZe are just scratching their head. Hang on. Twists. Not looking, not looking, still deals with it. Hard, a bit of a victim of the sound cue there. A nice upgrade for Twists and the round might slow down. I say might with bated breath. This is FaZe versus Fury after all. Safe to reclaim mid, seems good. We'll have Cake Serato and Yuri in support. Another vicious setup established. Here they come. Safe so blind, so blind. He's a sitting duck for the collection. Yuri does not choose to swing, nor Caserato. Walks out, loses his life. It looks like a fifth may be looming here for FaZe. And Caserato, the only one that can voice concerns. It's short-lived with the first. And down bottom over on the furious side of things. The top is 13, the bottom is nine. So a team effort here as they trundle down mid phase. They want to respond immediately here. Yeah. Okay, counter aggression with some aggression of your own. One expect still leans phase way. Couple of stray bullets, but the tea smoke. No one's accounting for K Serato. Big through. Oh, oh my God, he's in his own smoke. And Brokey's already pushed logs. Look at the frags, but the site is lost. And K Serato unaccounted for. Does tap the head of rain. Brokey and Twist are already here. They've even got the kit. Quite the clutching combo. No armor on twists. Caserato still T stairs. Good God, man. How late do you want to be? Drop. Good shot. Second for him. Twists. No real hope here as the bomb continues to tick. Caserato, the latest of flanks. Look how reserved he's being. Just means Twist has got no hope unless the fights come to him. Drop. Confirms. Caserato spotted out. Twist is building that mental picture, but it's already over. And Fury will be looking to take the pistol. A nice headshot to get himself out of trouble. Preserve the kit. 
Yeah, preserve the kit. That's it. That's all he has here, as well as the kill. Sure, an extra 300 bucks into the bank balance, but that's Fury with both pistols now. And again, we'll bring up that conversion statistic. If they go through and convert again here against FaZe, FaZe is going to be in the dumps on their own map choice. Is it safe to assume that that smoke had other intentions and it was just a reactive art underhand when they started screaming footsteps middle? Yeah, I, I think that they were trying to divide and conquer exactly like that because if, if you just smoke off the flank from Banana, you don't want to push through against Glocks, right? So you just can target the B defense there and you could see the response from FaZe. It's like, well, we know Kaiserado's T stairs, but the bomb's going to go down B. We can't waste our time with him. We need to take the attack elsewhere. And that was beautiful stuff. If it was traded early and there's more players second mid, then it would have been able to simmer into a mid round. But because all the bodies were there, it's a, a do or die, a, a bit more of a coin toss situation for FaZe, whether they can convert it. Yeah, but you could see in Brokey's movement, he, he knew what he had to do immediately upon seeing that smoke charge through, did find a frag. They tried to clear out Banana. Kaiserado on a timing and loads a full mag into the smoke and it seems that the art got a similar memo spraying bullets wildly and towards short they have gathered they maintain top mid control and phase are gambling at least four players leaning a side this is the right react art not clearing his corners back is turned and he is shut down oh carrigan two on the p250 there's a chance phase can perhaps rumble and rock this apple cart bomb is in ct spawn chad if they rotate over towards B right now, it is just Rain tucked into first oranges here. Twist and Rops are still top mid. Case Roto T stairs as well. So it's a two on one against Rain. He needs to get a frag out of this, slow them down, allow his teammates a chance. 95% second round conversion, though. That is a high statistic. And Fury out three frags away from adding to it. Rain's really backed himself into a corner. But still, holds his nerve and does tap her head. It's Caserato, though, that does maintain the advantage. Rops knows where both is. Twist went down to Caserato T-Stairs. Rops, if he's quick, he can isolate a fight here. But Caserato is also fast. Up banana already. Rops, this is a difficult one to win out now. Really tough. And that kit was on Twists. It's over towards mid. It's completely removed from the play here. There's a smoke on the floor, but not going to get him far. Perhaps he could smoke off that banana threat if Caserato's passed. Made a step he here. Did make a step. Drop nose, and so does his teammate. And that's as easy as it gets. 12, another conversion of the pistol win. Furia, they are ascending to take FaZe's pick convincingly. I mean, when we saw it happen once, a lot of people suggested it was a bit of a fluke. Wouldn't be seeing something similar again. FaZe's Inferno is one no teams want to trifle with. Just ask Na'Vi. This is how the round started as well, a Carrigan double. Uh, it's just the, the pistols get picked apart here. I think Yuri got a double throughout that piece. Now it's down to just the pebbles again for FaZe. And well, in the first up, they can convert it around on the T side with this, but that came through Rops in a Tech 9 opener. But Drop, the, again, more credit to him. He's in a semi-final right now, representing his boys, and he's at the top of the scoreboard. They're just rushing B. It's just Carrigan here on the yeah, side. Yeah, fully blind, but still taking space. Safe into Carrigan. She jumps and executes the in-game leader. This is 13. How are you going to get in here? Brokey has two flashes, sure. What are you going to do with that? He's already tucked in towards Ruin. Safe's coming <laughs> forward. He's going to find something oh else. Oh, my God. Yeah, they didn't clear him. Maybe there's something to be said about Brokey's position. But, uh, yeah, that's... Oh, he didn't... Yep. He gets... Nothing, absolutely nothing done with that. Rops perhaps a couple to pad the stats. It's only the one. 13 to 5. I'm saying it. I still don't quite believe it. Brokey whipping out the AWAP. We're going to have to see FaZe with a bit of a CT shutout now. Yeah, they're going to need to do it consecutive rounds here because this is pistol with conversions in both halves. The clutch is going in the favor of Furia. The opening kill is going in the favor of Furia. Everything working for the Brazilians right now. And well, if you watch the Na'Vi FaZe game yesterday on Dust, it's like FaZe Clan were A-mapping Na'Vi. Furia doing a little bit similar right now. They're never backing down from a duel. They're always taking a fight. And FaZe are in hot water here. Furia's died four times. That... Is quite the KD. Brokey is going to be flashed off the line. Does rattle off a shot, though, so Orp noted. And as this battle for mid does wage on, you hear nades rattling through. Banana continues as well. Good catch, Caserato. Tagged on down. Yuri beheads another. Just easy as that, Chad. Another opening death for FaZe. Yeah, and you can see he was also a little bit worried about that balcony position that Rops tends to play. So more than prepared a Furia here in a leg up in the first gun round in the second half. If this continues in this fashion, this is going to be a quick opening map not uh, what the expectation was. Of course, not over till it's over. Rain 
Carrigan required multi kills from both of them here. The Norwegian has delivered. Needs his ninth frag. His drop's not looking the right way. Wasn't expecting the regress. Carrigan almost baiting, tucked into new box. Yeah, I, I was wondering if Fury were going to call the cancel. There's no rush on. There's still a minute on the clock. Running through your gray screen into your demise. Not the way you want to kick this one off after the opening frag. They park Yuri top banana. Drops hanging around. But look at the util left over for the Brazilian side. Just a Molotov to work with here. It's a 2 2 split of the phase defense. So Carrigan and Rain still to roost and hold down this B bomb site. No easy task. With no nades of their own. It will have to be contact here from Furia. They're just going to have to walk on in and hope that fights come their way. Well, neither of them are really actively contesting. They will let them in. Carrigan. In dark, Rain will be first contact. He's timed it to perfection. Yuri's very quick in response. Dark needs to be cleared. Okay, Serato does lose his body, and it's Yuri that's losing his mind. 19 and 4. That's a bit of an overextension from Art. Can Yuri come up clutch? He's only died four times this fifth. He's going to make it as difficult as possible. Brokey isolated. Goes down. Robs has to stop him. Yuri is an animal. He is. So vicious and tagged up now with 7 HP. Just He's it. just going to stick it. Yuri trying to call the bluff. It's the only thing you can do with the low HP. And that is a big brain maneuver. Rob secures the round without another bullet fired. Just. Uh, just is the key right there. How close is that round? Yuri opens it up. He almost closes it down. And FaZe Clan, they give up a lot in pursuit of their first on their CT side. They buck the trend. They break the streak. But it's with only one player surviving. They're walking on eggshells as far as these rounds go. You can see Famous is bought up. Util's going to be light. They have a kit again. Feels like Yuri's doing it all right now. Yeah, what did he have for breakfast these last two days? I mean, you combine Yuri with a Caserato on form. You got Art doing his own thing, and suddenly you've got a team that can tackle all the Titans. Brokey and Twist in mid to be tested, and this feels a bit pacey. Bit of Ultra side, chicken down and twists, delivers a double on the FAMAS. And there's more aggression where that came from. Drop does manage to find a response, not before Brokey puts him down and a missed shot leads to him. Falling on short, Robs needs this, gets it for free. One in apps, Caserato, we spoke his name, can he deliver in a similar capacity? Shy of the head on rain, confirms one speedway. Won't expect Carrigan from library here so quick. We'll just go down in the back. Yeah, so that positioning right there, even if he gets rain, Carrigan was the safety net or vice versa in that situation, depending on who took contact first. So FaZe string two consecutive rounds together and Furia flustered up mid with that aggression. They get caught on the cusp of the gray screen and Twist gets a double out of it. So you can see there that Util, how jarring it is. But that's big for Twist to take that fight. That is massive for him. He's up to 12 kills now. 13 for Brokey, 10 for Carrigan, 9 for Rain, and 6 for Rops. The scoreline now reads 13 to 7. But Furia, they're not going to let up the fangs of Furia into the AK-47s. Caserato and Yuri bolstering those, and the rest will just be on pebbles and pistols. Yeah, it makes sense, though. Give them the tools, and they'll do the work. Safe with just the Deagle has actually found broken an opener. And, oh, Carrigan could be exposed here on the mantle. Caserato does let it slip. A Glock, though, at least ensures Carrigan's death. But that's one of the armored AKs gone. Safe has at least recovered it. There's a chance in this one here. If Rops goes down, well, not to be Yuri finally stopped and he's just safe he loses his head as well and now Rops is starting to warm into things yeah that's, that's if there was a list of things you didn't want to see for Furia in this three consecutive out of the international squadron now yeah phase another team you can write out of these comeback scenarios the only evidence we've seen from Furia for T-side rounds was the opening three the fact that Art has an AK again they want to stay threatening right he needs to get something with this flashback so should be able to survive, and Rain is in the open here. Dancing with death. Art is smoked off, so doesn't have vision of that position right now, but the fact that he was blind in the open could have gone down. Continuing forward, our phase in Banana. Carrigan's going to push up close and personal. His sound is going to be noted, especially with those bullets. So information falling in favor of Fury here, and they are just going to post break the Brokey up on the half wall. Quite nail that Molotov, so they will still be concerned about Carrigan push. He's long gone. Remember, it was a light buy as well. So as long as they have a lot of nades, that wasted molly actually hurts and bottom spotted. Oh, what a perfect counter to the walk up here. Brokey, yeah, he gets that every day of the week. Art gone and smoke in anticipation for retreat. If he doesn't get this, easy as pie. Brokey dipping around, fullback orping. A double from him should have set Carrigan up for Caserato, but M4VAK, a dink exchange. Caserato's gun just better. 
Brokey looking to finish this round and looking to do so with style. Caserato gone. It is just Yuri and he'd need something miraculous. Catches one and not ready for the other. My God, is he quick? He nearly connected onto Rain. Yeah, someone put him down. He's yeah. an absolute menace here. Doing more damage again right there. Making it interesting on the way out the door. And now the buy will come through for Furia. And the fact that they get two kills there, that's good. They're keeping the damage. They're making sure that the CTs aren't getting the clean rounds. Not able to clean house in that regard. Good orbing from Brokey here. Starting to come alive. And there's Rain with a final frag just over the lip of the smoke. So safe will be into the AWP on this T side. Might get a head to head with him and Brokey. Trundling up, second middle, safe forced off by the flame and crashing again from Rain. 15 HP, but allowed to get away and it was worth it in a way because he's just dealt 100 damage to the face of Furia. Caserato and Art now limping. And nobody has banana control right now. You can see on the radar top left of the screen, everybody's actually evacuated because there's so much damage done to both. So Art, Art and uh, Case Rudder don't want to continue forward. They want to work elsewhere on the map. Gearing up for likely the top mid control here. Brokey in sight with the AWP, Rops over towards Graveyard, Twist playing over towards the CT Arch. And Case Rudder, you can see there with the jumps, just seeing if anybody is home towards Banana. This is the scariest trio on the A site. Rops, yeah, one to fear. Art needs him. Brokey, another name to watch out for. The spray connects again for Rob Short. Is a problem. The bomb loose. And a 2v5. Safe has found something <laughs> of a Hail Mary. How has he pulled that one off? The bomb, unfortunately, wasn't scooped up. But maybe Caserato can catch a timing here. Twist is holding it. 40 seconds for this pair of Brazilians. They are regrouping. Rops is actually sweeping into Boiler, so... Yeah, not ready for this one. He's oh, he's just rounded the corner. It's a nice little hunt here Are they going to consider this at all? I think he's too quick on this. Rops is going to get a free kill on the back here. Oh, lovely. That's and they third. know that save can't be too far behind, right? They know exactly where he was over towards short. Couldn't have gone too far on the jumps. Well, now confirmed. Rops knows exactly where you lie. 15 seconds remaining, and they're just going to step on out. See you later, alligator. Safe goes down. And another round for FaZe now. That's five consecutive, and only one of which Fury have been able to get the plant. So starting to get a bit bleak here on the T side. This is FaZe's map for a reason. The whole squad unified in their belief that this is the best map for them. So really undaunted when they were staring down the barrel of a 13-5. 13 to 5. I repeat myself. FaZe Clan now stand at 10. I think quick maths here. Rops is the one who stepped up the most in the second half so far. He has 10 kills so far within the second half of play. Pistols again here for Fury. Would love to get the bomb down. And they're looking fast on mid, Alex. Yeah, let's see if that Brokey Orb can stand true. Does drop, drop. I did not stutter, neither does Rops. Triple spray on the AK and Yuri. Back to where he started his CT heroics, actually. Yeah, that is the pistol round kickoff position, isn't it? Four kills for him on that balcony because he's got 22 in total right now. And I Quite think the standoff Rops, here. Yeah, Rops has a good idea that maybe, just maybe, Yuri, you could be coming out that apartment position. Now, you do have some space. If they overstep the mark, you might get a kill, but this could just be a standoff for the next minute and 10 seconds. Rops doesn't know that he's poked his head on through, and here comes the kill for Yuri. Oh, that's going to be frustrating for Rops. Shouldn't build into anything more, but he's grabbed himself a smoke, an AK, and a push straight through into the jaws of rain. Chomps him down. We'll take an 11th. That was just the conservative round, but Fury a couple of... Yeah, really have uh, stated their claim to Inferno over the course of this second half. Not done yet. Guns are out. Five AK-47s. The battle wages on. Got control here again for free. Drop versus Rops might be the first fight. Yeah, and it's a one-way no, so Drop just on the edge of that one. Waits it out. Oh, gives away a sound cue. Rob spotted and executes Drop. A big scalp to take. An opening kill again goes Phase's way. They really are tying up the stats that really were. Huge rotation here from Twist. He's going to get here in time. Yeah, he is. Completely. Tucked in now. Has responsibility of the slip through, smoke on top of the flames and we go. There's three CTs to receive you here. The boost dismantled, it doesn't matter for Caserato, still falls to Reigns M4. Art needs more, too much pressure. Carrigan still yet to engage, yet to reveal himself from the second oranges and that's for the frag. Takes down Art on the side of the head and Furia, tail between their legs. Just Yuri, 
They were trying to get out, try and save what they could. 400 bucks in the back pocket of Yuri as he stands up against four. Yeah, these rounds are getting more and more devastating for Fury here as FaZe are erecting this CT wall, right? There were rounds that were sketchy. There's one player alive, there's three players alive. Well, oh, now they're getting away with four players alive in each round, and they may continue to do so for three consecutive here. Carrigan pushing forward. A flash can come through at any moment. There it is. And Yuri won't even be able to finish it off. So great teamwork right there to clear out top banana. One round the difference here, and... Yeah, Fury are going to be scratching their head as far as ideas are concerned. You're right. When you take a look at that that's, that slew of blue, you can see that the, the numbers in survival is getting really disastrous for Fury. And, and one of the issues is as well, to get you to this 13 round mark was the pistol with conversions. These are the gun rounds. You're not getting any traction in the gun rounds at all. Since the big guns have come out for phase, they have locked you down round after round, and it's been this rinse and repeat, the washing machine, the tumble dryer of Fury, guns, pistols, guns, pistols. We're back to the pistols here. Just takes one to at least rock the apple cart, keep FaZe on their toes. And wow, there's some pace, but some nades too. That will sour the mood. Well, back and forth, ping-ponging around the map here. They've been dispelled from top banana. They drop now back down towards the base of mid. Want to make sure that FaZe can't just fully rotate over towards the B side. Brokey's cheated early. It's twists and rops to lock down the mid crossfire here. Yeah, smoke and flash is going to achieve nothing. If, uh, if only his death, K Serato now dancing with Rain. Rain doesn't need to commit to this fight. He, he gains nothing out of this. Yeah, Twist might get a whole lot more from his fight there. Just the one. Loads of time. Fury will be happy with that. K Serato so still alive, but Rain changes that. Oh, taking a gamble. He wants to try and catch Brokey off, but Brokey rarely caught out, does punish him again for his overextension, and the numbers just really falling away from Furia. Individual escapades get them nowhere. Well, this is the thing, right, for Furia. One of the things that, that we look towards is a crazy art maneuver where he finds space, gets to the opening, sometimes like Carrigan does when he hits the big red button. Now, Yuri up and over. Creative way to look for a pick, and it is going to hold Rops at bay, but should be able to survive this one. Doesn't even actually return fire. I think he was more just perplexed as to where the bullets were coming from. Well, that's the end of that, and another death for Yuri as he's racking him up here in the second half. It is crazy, right? Yuri is up to what was that 24? There, everybody has particular setups. The FPS bug strikes from time to time, and sometimes computers. They're temperamental, Alex. Let me tell you. No, Chad, that's just you. Just you, have me? A, you have a technological curse. I don't know who in the like technology witch department you pissed off. So I did. I definitely you, did. They though. got a full voodoo doll out and broke all of your components. Yeah. Yeah. They computers did. and me, we don't seem to mix. I've never seen this. So someone gets so many blue screens of death. And maybe someone here on the Furious side is going to get a white screen of death. We've seen a lot of the successful openings now from FaZe's defense. And here's another one. Rain up against Art in the head-to-head. -head, and again, he bests him. Easy retreat. Encouraged even more so by the incendiary. Caserato opts to extinguish, trying to keep them on their toes, but they don't move a muscle. And another opening kill. Well, that's the thing. If they were going to make this play and Art doesn't get the space, they need to take space elsewhere. So this fight towards Boiler up next. Rops standing tall towards A. Has an opportunity. Gets one. Might even find the second here. Rops, he's not backing down. He's baiting Yuri in. And, well, slip on out through the door. It's a 5v3. What are you going to do now, Fury? You can see in Rops' crosshair as well. He, he, he knew Yuri was trying to bait for the uh, gap close from drop. He worked that out. Mystery solved. This is the, the question, right, for Fury. If you can't get in, you can't plant. Do you want to save? Right, because next round you'll be back into the pistols again. 3,400 only goes so far, but save's got one back. Can he be the difference maker? It's a start. It's a brick. Pulled out of this phase defensive wall, but more required for it to tumble. Carrigan floats back silently. Safe will hear it if he jogs back. He has audibly returns to B. Yuri is still up on A. So a 2v2 here with the bomb. 30 seconds. Carrigan trying to admit, get some mischief in that smoke. And K Serato and Safe, the Marauders into the site. Rain deals with trouble. And now Safe, what are you supposed to do? You got 15 seconds. You couldn't even make it if he tried. So Yuri and Safe saving on either side of the map. No hunt required, and FaZe actually taking the lead. It's taken them this long from a 10-5 half, make it 13-5 to five after the pistol and its conversions, but FaZe still stands stalwart in defense of their Inferno in the gun rounds. Yeah, this is a lockout now. This is an absolute lockout here. Beautiful stuff coming on through from FaZe. They're going to shut this one down. Just two more rounds required now.
I, I don't know what Fury can do. They tried to hit the big red button and have Art charge on in, and you get to the desperate point of the game right now. You just save two rifles. You have the loss bonus is 3,400. You feel like you have to buy behind it. And this is doing your default. If you drop and you have a teammate in boiler, you're not expecting for somebody to find that gap. This is perfect from Rain. Takes the one kill, drops back, and immediately defensively flashes, right? It's going to set his teammates up. It's going to buy time. And this is massive now. Fury needs something, a moment of brilliance, an individual to step on up, and Yuri has been the one to do it throughout. Cops some nade damage there, 66 points of health remaining is a yeah. slower start from Fury here. If there was anyone you did, wouldn't want to catch an early flak, it would be Yuri, considering the form he's in. You do need, as Chad has outlined, something to buck this trend, and it will boil down to individuals. Sound cue heard in apps. Retake full set from the CTs, maintains control of top banana. I, I want to bring up Art again here, and I don't know how he's going to be able to manufacture one, but he's only got three kills so far in this second half, right? And that's the thing. If he can find them an opener a way in, the magic man, right? You turn to Art when the chips are down, when you need something done, and it's not an easy thing to replicate. It's a difficult thing that Art does. Yeah, and you've got to try and do it against twists and rops. He's holding Boiler and Balk at the same time. Forced off, good util, smoke to imply pit presence. They're coming into twists, though. Good flash forces him in. This is a lot of space now for Furia. Can they build anything out of this? Brokey posted up for the drop out of Balk. Passive setup. Smoke's completely obscuring Pit. And it's a nice find from Twists on site. Look at the aggression. They weren't ready for that. Brokey charges in and it's another lockout. These CTs do not buckle, do not surrender. Oh, wow. No scope from the top rope. And this one's done. Not a single casualty. FaZe really are running to the finish line on this defense. A Tech 9, sure. But you need four more, and that'll do nicely. 15 to 13, phase. Inferno's there, tough. And Fury are just the invaders. Get out. Wow, what a lockdown. That is such a long string of blue. Ten rounds in a row, Chad. This is crazy stuff right now. Completely shutting this one out. L losing both pistols, right? Having a rough go of things on, the, on, on their T side. They dictated too. And now it smiles on their faces. The confidence they're going to have going forward into map number two from this is going to be wild. Whereas on the other side of things, you've had your chances here, Fury. You know that you've very, very good position to Ooh. close out this map. Wow, a bit of Rob's aggression. Combination of words you don't find me saying too often. He is really aggressive. He's going to try and catch out Yuri. There's no way he's anticipating this. I say it as he clears it. Problem solved, weapon upgraded, and an opening kill found. Is this coming quick enough to buck the trend? Carrigan, frags, raid, delivers. And now Fury as quick as it came. The advantage disintegrates. You're so spread out, heading back towards twists on the A site, usually good for it, already anticipating. And Yuri does meet twists, AK. Phase. Looking for their 11th consecutive to convert their map pick. This semi-final, it looks scary, but not anymore. Oh, what? With one, would need a whole lot more. And 